Being the keystone of your e-commerce business, sellers often find product research to be a nerve-wracking process. So what if someone else could do it for you? Today, I'm gonna to put to test a service that does exactly that. You give them the categories and base criteria you want them to use, but then they conduct the research process for you on Amazon, provide you with those ideas with various insights on each. I will show you the costs, the categories and criteria I chose, the ideas I ended up receiving, then I'm gonna evaluate those with you so that one, you just have more ideas, and two, you can decide whether this service is a fit for your business. I'll also share with you how to take advantage of it. And as always, if you do find this helpful, drop it a quick like for me and let's jump straight in. This service is called the Booming Product Reports by AMZ Scout, the product research software you may have heard of, the costs. You can choose between these four reports and of course those determine how many product ideas you'll receive. One product idea for 147, five for 547, 10 for 997 and 15 for 1397. And we're gonna test out the option with five products. Categories and criteria. So I requested products only in line with this criteria. First of all, only these five categories. You can learn how I selected those in this video up here. And then for price range, I only want to receive products that sell for a price between $35 and $200. In the additional notes, I would like products that sell over 500 units per month. Also, giftable products are a huge plus. The results. Now, I've ordered these in terms of my personal preference from my least favorite to my most favorite, but you might order them differently. But in fifth spot, screwless transduce amount. And that is this product over here. So it is a mount for a transducer. The transducer actually mounts on this piece here. And a transducer which would mount to that is a device which sends out a pulse into the water for measuring like depth or finding fish, stuff like that. But this product allows users to mount those transducers without drilling into the hull of the boat. Now we have the product ideas, but we need to see the entire market with all of the competitors. To do that, we need a keyword. So what do customers type in most to find that type of product? That leads us to the biggest market for the product, which we want to look at. So for each of these products, I used the Cerebro process. It basically looks at the product and then gathers keywords for that product in terms of which keywords it performs best for. So I'm able to identify the highest search volume relevant keyword for each of these products. But if you do wanna learn about that process, check out this video up here. But for this product, you can see the highest search volume keywords leading us to the most accurate market are transducer mounting plate or stern saver or a very targeted but lower search volume one is no drill transducer mount. And so looking at the highest search volume there, transducer mounting plate. If we skip the sponsored results on this page, you can see the first ones are not of the same design. These actually require you to drill into the hull. So although it's a higher search volume, it's not the most relevant, but I would rather look at the market which encompasses more competitors. It's a bit more of a conservative approach here. Moving one line down, we do see these versions, all from the same brand, by the way. 401 reviews, $30 sell price, usually 35 and selling 370 units a month. Here we see a similar relationship, 660, and these last two also very similar sales, and these are at a $45 sell price. Now, one quick reference I also like to look at is these fees. You can see, so if you're selling at $45, if your Amazon referral and FBA fees are $8.12, that is a very good price to fee ratio. The fees are a very small amount of that total price. So that's another reference I like to look at quickly just to kind of get an inkling on profit margin. But for me personally, I'm gonna move on to the next result because I am not an expert in terms of boating and hulls. 
So it would be very difficult for me to differentiate and design off of this product here. I would also be careful of this single brand being so prominent. Is that a well-known household brand name and can we compete with them? In fourth, we have the cardboard trash bin for events and that is this product over here. And the keywords for this market are cardboard trash cans for events or disposable trash cans for parties. So if we type that keyword for events into Amazon here, we're going to skip the sponsored results. We want to see the first organic ones, the ones that have organically earned their position here. And looking at these, we have low to medium in terms of reviews. So therefore, in terms of competition here, but the first result, 200 reviews, $100 sell price, 400 sales a month. Now this is obviously quite a basic product and those are not my favorite because taking this a step further, making it unique, developing it further is very difficult. Another thing to note is you'll notice the fees here are very, very high. Remember I was talking about the price to fee ratio. This is almost half of that price. So this is a, a, a much worse relationship in terms of fees. So anytime you have a product like this, just keep in mind how you fold and package that product is going to have a massive impact on your profit margin. But one thing I did find interesting here, scrolling down a little at 635 reviews, so a bit higher, but a $45 sale price, 650 sales. And these versions are specifically for parties. So if it's that type of event, you could get more creative in terms of the design. So that's just one tangent market to consider here. And there's two other reasons that I don't love this market. The first is that customers are likely going to buy on price, putting pressure on your profit margin. And two is with supply type products, you can have big pockets competitors coming in, buying in bulk and driving that price down as well. So for those reasons, I'm going to move on to the next idea. In third, the X-shaped wheel stabilizer. And that is this product here, which you actually put between the wheels of an RV or trailer to avoid it moving. And the keywords for this market are RV wheel chuck or X chucks. The X chucks one being lower volume, but much more relevant for that specific version. But looking at the highest search volume one on Amazon, that is RV wheel chuck. The first organic, you can see a very different version also over here. That's because we aren't looking exactly at X chocks, but we're including all the competitors. It's a bit more conservative. We do see this version ranking well, though. This competitor has a lot of reviews. And moving down, you will notice the highly rated section, and that shows highly rated ones. What is good to see is that the X version is throughout this highly rated area, meaning customers like that version. But moving one line down here, we can see lower to medium reviews, good price points and very high sales across the board. And then moving further down, you can see this result. So 115 reviews, $55 sale price, almost 400 sales a month. What I do like about this is you can see the accessories they're including like these gloves here, it might be like cut resistant gloves, the carry bag. So this offer having lower reviews, people taking a risk on it while it has lower reviews is a good indication that they favor those adjustments and that development to the product. The price to fee ratio is also good in this instance. The fees are not too high relative to that price. So I'm assuming this will have a good profit margin. But this one comes in third for me because it's not low competition by any means. You're probably going to have to spend quite significantly on ads in order to rank organically here. Although the way to attack this market is likely by accessorizing and building out that bundle further. In second, we have the backseat car air mattress, which is this product here. And the keywords for this product are SUV air mattress or car mattress for SUV. Typing in the highest search volume one, first result, very high reviews, as you would expect, because these products have been around a long time. In second, also high reviews. So the top three are very high review competitors. But in fourth, 172 reviews, 1100 sales a month at a usually $56 sale price. 
the price to fee ratio is also good here. And moving a bit down, medium reviews, good sell price, almost 400 sales. And here, a lower review option, 74, 540 sales a month at a $73 sell price. This one sells 144 units a month without any reviews at 50. And this one also selling very well, lower reviews, 1000 sales a month, usually at a $70 sell price. And this one, totally different in terms of the pattern or design, 82, usually $70, 723 sales a month. So I'm quite surprised to see such a low review offers on the very first page of the biggest or most searched keyword here. So this is a very good sign. And I also like that all different designs and styles are actually selling well, where I would have thought people would just buy the basic kind of black version of these, but they are choosing between all the different offers here. And on this one, which we got in the report, it's actually that product, 1100 sales at 172 reviews. So why are customers choosing this over the higher review offers? Well, they also include these pillows over here. So that's how you can start to build out your bundle further in terms of this type of product. But there is actually a lot you can do in terms of design with features, but then also design with how it looks and the patterns. And in first place, Power Tool Organizer. And that is this product over here for hanging drills and other power tools. Now the main keywords for this market are Power Tool Storage Rack or cordless drill storage. And if we look at the highest search volume keyword on Amazon, the first line of organic are very, very low review counts. As you can see here, good price points, except for this one here, decent sales numbers, this one selling very well, almost 600 units a month at 46 reviews and a $40 sell price. And the price to fee ratio is also good in this market. Moving to the second organic line here, 68 reviews, almost 700 sales, $50. 47 reviews, over a thousand sales at $40. 260 reviews, 2000 sales at 38. And so this is a clear standout market for me. Definitely my favorite out of all five of those ideas. Because even if we go to the next line, you see a very similar trend here with low reviews selling exceptionally well and at a good price point. Even down here towards the bottom, 38, 69, very good sales numbers at good price points. But moving back up to the top, this is the second line of organic results, highest search keyword for this product type. You can see here this trend of low reviews, good price points in terms of at least what I look for, and high sales is very good. This is one of the better relationships I've seen recently. There's also a lot you can do with this type of product in terms of developing it further, what it can hold, how it holds, how it can mount. There's a lot that you can do here as well as a big gifting angle. This type of product's gonna sell extremely well on things like Father's Day, etc. And you know that I love that type of angle with products as well, because it's gonna give you all of those keywords as well. And if you do wanna take advantage of this service for your business, you can do so at the link in the pinned comment right below. That link also supports our work here. You can also use any of the product research softwares you saw me use in this video. I'm gonna link that in the description as well for you. And before you go, please do comment below for me. What is your biggest struggle when it comes to product research? And a big thank you for watching all of our videos. If you do wanna help us hit our next milestone of 50,000 subscribers, please do subscribe below and I will catch you in the next video.